Yes, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Everybody should know who I am. I'm Sergeant really. Ortega. No. I'm Lieutenant oh, yeah. Ortega. <laughs> I'm, I, I came from the Bronx. as a, I was a sergeant there. Now I'm the lieutenant from the Bronx. Manhattan. Okay, I just got to make it very easy. I don't bother nobody. I try not to harass nobody. I was an agent for 10 years. I know how it is to be out there. But I'm going to be honest with you. There's a lot. There's work out there. Please do your job the best way. Okay? Give me at least 110%. And that's all I'm asking for. Everybody knows what this job requires, am I right? What does this job expect you to do? Go with your bag. Well, not even that. They want you to go out and write summonses, okay? And that's what our main function is, to write summonses, basically. I know nine to five is a little harder than six to two. Granted. But I see some of the numbers that I'm not happy with. It's gonna fall back on me if you're writing one, three, five. They expect double digits. Now I know that's a gonna be hard for you guys, but I expect you to check the recycling. You can check recycling. I expect you to do whatever you can. If you find that you have a difficult time, you have supervisors here. You don't like them. Fleet would be here a very long time. She could help any agent that has difficult times out in the field with commercial or residential. Excuse me. Hello, you interrupted my rope. I'll call you right back, please. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry about that. Um, what I want is that if you're having difficulties, please reach out to these supervisors. Because I'm going to hold them accountable for you too. Okay? Because that's what they're here for. They're here to assist. That's, you know, and what it is is that I, I have agents in the Bronx that had issues writing summonses. I've done one-on-ones. You know? I have watched them patrol with them so I can see where they have a difficulty with. Okay? Now, I'm not going to pass everything on to you I'm going to pass it on to my supervisor too. Okay? Because at the end of the day, there might be a reason why you only wrote three summonses. Maybe you don't, you're not, you don't know about recycling. Or maybe you're not using every code that we have to your advantage. Because there's a lot of codes that people people get stuck on SO6, S26, and S6N. And that's it. I, I've seen that a lot of different times. There's so many different codes that we can issue for that we can, we can, we can bring up. We, because like I said, if you do, if you do very good, Nobody will tell me nothing. I don't have to have headaches. I already lost my hair, so I don't have no hair to lose no more. You know? But, again, I want to be stress-free. I want y'all to be stress-free. I don't want you to worry about nothing. I want you to do your job, come to work. I want everybody to be happy because if you're happy, I'm happy, my sons are happy. And that's how I feel. Okay? I believe y'all are the heart of enforcement. Not nobody else. Y'all. Because y'all go out there, you have to go, have to issue some Mr. commercials, you have to deal with the respondents, even though it's a lot different when I was an agent, when the you know, store owners used to tell me, step aside. Okay, I got threatened every day by commercials. Now commercials are so used to us that they don't even fight with us no more. But very rarely you get a hostile, you know, you do get hostile situation, but it's not as bad back in the 90s when I first started. I was threatened every day, maybe five times a day, you know? I mean, I had a respondent try to grab me. You know, so situations do happen. That's why we have supervisors here. 
You know, my my main goal is your safety. Your safety, and you're going home to your family if you have wife, kids, brother, sister, mother. My main goal is you have to go home safe. Okay, I tell that to everybody. Okay, like I said, I'm not just a supervisor that just came up as an agent, made sergeant, made lieutenant. I was an agent for over 10 years. I was a sergeant for over 10 years. Just made lieutenant. I've been here 24 years. Okay, so I know what we can do. I work 9 to 5. I work 10 to 6. I work 11 to 7. I have worked 5 to 1 and I have worked 6 to 2. I have 1 to 9 in different aspects in this job. I've done it all. I've done posting, canine, I've done uh, commercials. When I was doing it, we was only allowed to write two residential and all of it had to be commercial. And we had to write 15. <laughs> then they moved it up to 16. Mm -hmm. Then they moved it up to 18. I'm sorry. No, no, actually, 18 during the day, and uh, <coughs> Monday to Friday too, Saturday too. Kelly had us writing 18 summons a day. So, I've been there. I've done it. I've done it as a supervisor, working Sundays. I, I love writing summons on Sundays. I prefer to write summons than to be a supervisor on Sunday. And the first thing I say is I want to be an agent. Because I can get my numbers quickly. That's it, my day's over. As a supervisor, on the other hand, if a situation happens to you at three o'clock, I have to respond to it. You, know, you see what I'm getting at? It's easy to be an agent than it is to be a supervisor. You know, so I used to tell my lieutenant real quick, listen, you want somebody else supervise, that's fine. I, I could sit back and uh, write some of this. Because that's how easy it is out there. And I work nine to five on Sundays. So I'm just giving you a heads up. You can write for a lot of different, if you have a difficulty, reach out to the supervisors because right now I'm working 6 to 2. I'm going to be here at 9 to 5, but I'm going to be looking at, I'm going to, I'm going to be watching your, uh, 144s. I want you to document everything. Well, too much young guys uh, don't do that many complaints. 6 to 2 does, but that's what I look at. Okay? I look at your know, 144s and I want you to document everything. You know, um, I believe in utilizing my level two. Is that, you're the only one level two here? For no, now, for today. Okay, for today. I believe in using my level twos because they're going to be evaluated on their level two work. And that's, that's, that's only for her because none of y'all are level twos. You're not level two, right? I believe in utilizing my level two. So that will be, that will be done too, besides my sergeants. Uh, but again, I'm very fair. There have been times I had to go against lieutenants to protect the agent, and I've done it. Okay? I have done it many a times. And there's been times that an agent did something wrong, and I just looked at him and said, that's on you, brother. And I wrote them up. I will go for that if you are straight and honest. Okay, and one thing I won't tolerate is you putting me a loose around my neck. I'm not gonna tolerate that, and I won't want you to do that to my sergeants. Do not compromise my position or my sergeant's positions. Okay, do not put them in a position that they could lose, they could get in trouble over over whatever you do. Okay, and I'm not saying you do anything, but don't put my sergeants in that position because I won't have that. Okay. Don't ever compromise my sergeant's positions and don't compromise mine. Okay, like I said, I'm very fair, I'm very honest. Okay, if I see something going on, straight, I tell you straight in your face, I'm not happy with what I'm seeing. Okay? And I'm going to let you know, like I said, I work with O'Neill. Never worked with um, White and Miss White, but um, I, I know Miss White. Okay, I have worked uh, with for Varick and Snow Duty for a little while. I know you worked at night, right? Mm -hmm. Never got to really work with you. But like I said, I'm not, you know, I'm very easy going. My whole thing is about doing the job and going home. And not thinking about the job. Okay, but the first thing that's gonna happen is 
they start saying one or two summonses every day. They're gonna start telling me blockface people. I don't I don't like blockfacing. I can't do it. I don't believe that works. I don't believe that. I believe that if you're driving around, especially District Five and Four is pretty congested. Park the car, walk. Especially if you know you can get summons around the area. Not everywhere you can get summonses and walking will be doing nothing. Because I know people have walked different directions where the violation is. I've seen it. Okay, I will be in the field. I will be in the field watching you If I have to pick you up and take you one on one, I will. You know? But that's going to be my supervisor's job. Okay? And they will be doing, if they have to go one on one with you, they will be doing evaluations on you. A one on one evaluation. Okay? Before that happens, please. I just came. I know I know that everybody who, you know, don't know me that well. But again, all I'm doing is trying to make this easy and smoothly and I want everybody to work together. Okay? I don't believe in agents fighting among each other. I don't believe in sergeants fighting among each other and I don't expect agents fighting with my sergeants or my sergeants calling me at me. This is a job. We all know what we got to do. We know what's expected. Our main function is to generate revenue from the city. That's basically what we are. Okay, there's nothing else about us. You know? We go out there, we write tickets, and we go home. Okay, but again, I just want to make sure everybody understands that, you know, I like to work in harmony. I like every, when I work in the Bronx, and nobody really fought. Everybody went out and did their job. We had we had a nice in the Bronx. We had a very good crew. And I want to bring that. I don't know what went on before I came. I really don't care. I'm telling you how I am. Because, I, you know, yesterday was a smaller crew, I think. And I really didn't dress too much. Uh, I didn't look in the 206 book yesterday. I, Today, I didn't get to look in the 206 book, but I saw yesterday's uh, mm -hmm. uh, numbers. A couple of people wrote above 10, and a couple of people wrote under 10. But, I mean, honestly, I want to see more done. And if you have any trouble, please reach out to my supervisor over the radio. Okay? Let them know. Low pro. Once you say that, I expect them to come over and assist you. Okay, four hours into your shift, if you don't have more than five summonses, I expect you to reach out to my son, my sergeants. Actually, I would say three, because, you know, rowdy is, is very important. Did you be up for the other day, Lieutenant? Huh? Did you be up for the other day? Well, the day after the holiday, it's gonna be backlog all week. I'm gonna be honest with you. The majority of the time, we carry backlog all week for residential. Commercials, it's okay. But again, if there's backlog, that means there's more violations to me. You know why? Can anybody tell me why would there be more violations if there's backlog? Recycling. Everything's out. Yeah. So if there's a lot of, there's an R, anybody know? Raise your hand if you know how to write an R11. R11 is the easiest summons that most agents don't write. Actually, you know what I did in the Bronx, right? I took one of my agents and had them write all R elevens, nothing else, through the whole borough. Just R eleven. Do you know why? Because a lot of people tend not to write recycling; they write residential, eight to nine o'clock. And my my recycling was like three, five, maybe ten if I'm lucky. And one person writing fifties, twenty sevens, all R elevens. Then I increased it with another agent. What I'm saying is there's so much or 11s out there that it can be done if people take initiative. Like I said, I'm not going to stress you guys. Don't stress me. Okay? I don't question you how long you take your lunch as long as you respect my supervisor and then you, you know, because I know a half hour technically is lunch. Am I right? I know pretty much everybody takes more than a half hour lunch. Okay? 
Everybody here. No. I bet you any amount of bet. Y'all sit for another hour sometimes. Just, or just run around. You know? Like I said, I'm an agent. I was an agent, so I know. There's nothing that he had done that I don't know about. Um, but again, if you get your work done, you will never hear me say, oh, let's, let's say Covada broke 10. Ah, this is all you're going to give me? No, you broke 10. That's good enough for me. You know? The only thing I will tell you is if you write numbers, fluctuate. Don't get stuck on 10 all the time because now they're going to say you stop at 10. I know the routine. Also, you got to get late sometimes. Okay? What time do you mostly come in? Four. Everybody comes in at 4 every day. 4, 3.30. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me tell you something. Get your number to tell you good enough for me. Okay? Because there is sometimes, well, there's two now. We're going to be shorthanded. If there's three, listen, just have your paperwork done. I'll call you back on my roll call, please. Okay. Um, and this is going, this is, and when I say coming at 3.30, you're not supposed to all come in at 4. Okay, no matter what. But I can bend a little bit. Yeah. Unless my captain decides. Yeah, well, here, give me a second. Get, get your job, do your job, the best of your abilities, okay? I'm one of those persons that I believe is, if you're here eight hours, I mean, nobody works on this job eight hours. By the time you take lunch, this, that, you know, we work maybe three hours out of a day, especially in the morning. And I know that, that's why I always tell my 62 people, we work three, Two to three hours a day. Don't make me look bad by writing under 10. And the same thing with y'all. We don't, I know you're not working all day long for all eight hours. And you're only gonna bring three summons and then I'm wondering what's going on because if you're working and that's all you can see, then you're, you're like horses, you have those uh, things around your face that you can't see on the sides because the viola there's a lot of different violations. I mean, I haven't been in Manhattan for a couple of years. It's been a while. But I know like 12, 11, 10, three. That is the worst district I've ever seen. Three is terrible. They don't know how to do nothing with their garbage. I mean, you see all kinds of things. The first time I ever did special operations, I put three for three and I have like four people writing in after summons, I have four people, including me, writing five each. And I wrote two. Because I don't ask nobody to do something that I wouldn't do. As a sergeant, I wrote action summonses in uniform and without uniform. So basically, I don't, I don't tell people to do things. Moss worked with me as if she was my agent before she made supervisor. She knows I, I'd be the first one to write. I'm the only supervisor, I think, in the Bronx that wrote. Besides the lieutenant and action summonses. You know, I have no problem writing summonses. Okay? But again, this is about not me, this is about your guys. Just give me a good day's work. That's all I'm asking for. A good day's work. An honest day work. You know, because if you give me an honest day work, then you know what? I try to bend over backwards. You know, there are certain things I can't do, and I will tell you, nah, this, I can't do this, but. Most of the time I try to work with people, you know, I really do. And right now I got Captain Yeva, so I worked with him before. Pretty much I can do it. Once Pascal comes, I never worked with Pascal as a captain or as a lieutenant. It's a different story. Things will change. Okay. But 
I know that if you're writing three or four, she goes start giving on my case. I don't, I don't want to give. I don't want no frustration. I want to be nice and easy. I want to go in the field, make a couple of C's. Ask your guys how you're doing. Have a great day and keep it moving. That's how I am. Very, every now and then you see me, uh, my veins start popping up and I'm angry. You know, and then I'm just like, you know, come on guys. You know, but I try not, I try to, I want to be patient. I want to be actually metal down. I don't want no stress, you know. I don't want no headaches, okay. Like I said, I haven't been in the, I haven't been down here in Manhattan from nine to five. I know how Bronx work, and this is the first time coming down here as a lieutenant. Again, I don't want no problems. I want everything to run smoothly. I bet everybody wants everything. You, you want to have an easy day, don't you? Mm -hmm. You want to have an easy day. You want to have an easy day. Mm -hmm. I want to have an easy. My sergeants want an easy day. You know, we're not gonna have an easy day every day because I have bosses to, um, I have bosses that I have to report to every day. They get the better. But if, if you're doing what you gotta do, I can always justify everything that you gotta do. If you're, right, if you're doing what you're supposed to do, I can say, yeah, well, Chief, look at my numbers. Look at what my agents are doing. This is what we do. I will stick 100% by you. But if you're writing one summons, how can I justify that? Eight hours, one summons. The average supposed to be, this is how they used to look at it back in the day. And they just should write two summons every hour. How many hours are there? Eight hours? Should be at least 16 summons. That's how they used to do it to us. That's how we got that number 16. Okay, because my main concern is here in Manhattan. What goes on in Queens, Brooklyn, and the Bronx, I don't care no more. I care what happens here. I care what my agents do. Please. Okay. Uh, Marsh, you have anything to say? 940, roll calls over. Have a great day. Yeah.